Hello, welcome to Tough Grit. I'm Caleb Regan. And I'm Shannon Riley. We've all been there before. Maybe you've had a flat tire in the middle of nowhere, or had a bull bust through barbed wire in the middle of the night. Maybe you've seen worse. But at some point, we've all found ourselves in a pile of tough grit with seemingly no way out. This show's all about finding the best possible way out of that situation. Whether it's building a chicken coop or collecting the eggs, there's a lot of different options for you to do all the jobs you have to do. And we're gonna throw a little competition in for fun as well. It's a real mano a machino. Tough Grid is more than just competition among rural neighbors. We're gonna throw some education in there as well to show you the various ways to get the job done and get it done right. They say good fences make good neighbors. Well, not here on Tough Grit. Meet Joe Cartwright from Linden, Kansas. Joe owns 15 acres and 20 head of sheep. And one really surly goat. And Clinton Westwood from Art Creek, Missouri, who owns 20 acres and 10 head of cattle. And spends all of his profits on hair product. Gentlemen, your challenge today is to... Build a fence. First we're gonna drill some holes, build a brace, string some wire, stretch it tight, and then we're going to pound some, some posts. posts. And whoever builds the best fence, judged by us, gets a thousand dollar gift card from Tractor Supply Company. But you're not gonna have to do this alone. We're gonna bring in some experts to help you with tips and advice to do your project right. Clinton. Helping you today is gonna to be Rick Johnson, Tractor Supply Store Manager in Lawrence, Kansas. And Joe helping you today is Editor-in-Chief of Grit Magazine, Hank Will. Who's gonna build the best fence? Who's gonna build it the fastest? Who's gonna do it with the least amount of effort? Find out when we return after this quick message. Welcome back. We got Joe and Clinton here ready to dig the hole for the first brace. And we got Rick from Tractor Supply and Hank from Grip Magazine ready to give some expert advice. To find the location for the hole for the first brace post, we temporarily set a gate in place and found the spot. Then to identify the location for the second brace post, we follow down the horizontal brace piece, put it right there at the end. That's where she goes. All right, gentlemen. Ready, set, go! go. So the first phase of the competition is to dig the post that the brace will sit on to brace the rest of the fence line. The finish line is to get at least three feet down, that way you're below the frost line so your posts don't pop up. They also need to be rather vertical so you've got a good solid base. Digging a hole isn't as easy as it looks. You've got to remember to keep going down. There's also the gopher challenge. Also beware of any rocks, and if you strike oil, we get 10%. All right, Joe, you're, you're doing good. You want to get get a good hard strike. Take it, take the next shot at a right angle to that shot. Perfect, perfect. Squeeze hard. Yeah, there you go. You're getting it. Break those roots. There you go. Jiggle it, wiggle it, twist. Jiggle, wiggle, clamp, twist. There you go. There you go. We're getting it. Keep working yourself around the hole, and that way you get a good clean circle all the way through it. That way you're not working just on one side. That helps loosen it up all the way down. Cramp those out. Then a hard slam down. Hard slam down, that's the key thing. Tighten it, pull it out, move. Tighten it, pull it, move. There you go. All right, Clint, the thing we gotta remember is we gotta go down about three feet now. So you're about halfway there. I <laughs> think Clinton's able to work a lot faster because he's not encumbered by a lot of hair getting in his eyes. Keep, going. Keep working around. You're way ahead of him now, keep going. And to be sure that, that hole goes straight, you wanna kinda work your body around the, the hole. Joe's doing his best, but you know, we have to keep reminding him to keep going down. Down, Joe, go as down. As high as you can and slam it. There, yeah. Careful of that camera now. Whoa. That's always one thing you gotta look out for when you're out digging a fence hole is the cameras that are around. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see how deep you are. Uh, looks like you got almost half a foot yet ah. to go. All right, Bob, bend your knees a little bit more. That'll help you out. That's it, that's it. Keep your center down low. All right, let me check now. Let's see how close we are. All right, dude, we're there. We got about one, two inches more. Go, you're on it. One more now, come on, more out there. All right, let me check, let me check. I think you're there, you're there. All right, we got it, you got it, you got it. All right, 
<laughs> there he is. Good job. Good job. You all right? Need some water? Give you something to drink, all right? Well, it looks like we've got a winner. Clinton and Tractor Supply has pulled out the first hole. Yep. Clinton finished in faster time. They both look pretty vertical. Pretty clean holes. Should hold. Should brace the fence just fine. Well, great job, Joe, and great job, Clinton. But if we have to give grades, I'm afraid that's a solid B. But Clinton, you've got to find a hole there. <laughs>